Well, um, to start, I am present with the authors. Um, Eitor Assis is a, a colleague. Uh, his is um, research on the drones and the, the relations uh, between drones, painters, and the history of science, or specifically history of geology. Marcel is working with the history of um, siderurgy in the beginnings of the 20th century in Brazil. And the, by this way, he arrived the, about the um, iron ores in Minas Gerais state in Brazil. And the, we um, combine these um, ideas and did you uh, present the findings about the cheese study? Well, the, 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 the idea is more or less, uh, uh, more or less the following. We, um, um, we uh, bring here one, one map elaborated by an American geologist. Uh, inside the um, approach of um, to try to understand the um, ideas about the, of the group of naturalists, geologists, engineers that worked uh, in the end of the 19th century and in the beginnings of the 20th century. And the, in this um, perspective, we uh, pretend to, to show how this specific map helps us to understand the ideas of these geologists and the naturalists at the time. Well, the map is a, a specific document. Uh, this map was um, elaborated in, uh, by uh, John Casper Brenner, American geologist. And the Brenner in that time um, did part of the, uh, certain worries about the um, knowledge and the geological knowledge. And the these, uh, um, these thinkers of it, uh, that time in the in United States um, have many, many um, similar worries with the formation of the geologists, with the um, um, uh, geological surveys, with the foundation and divulgation of the um, uh, journals, periodicals, reviews to divulgate the, the geology. Inside this group, um, Brunner um, has a specific approach because um, his um, notions about the, the geology were uh, formed in part in Brazil. Brenner um, was um, when uh, a student to Brazil to participate of the, the group that he, um, was involved with the um, the first ideas about the archaeological survey. And the, in this moment, uh, Brenner arrived in Brazil uh, together with him, uh, his teachers and the other uh, American geologists, um, all contracted by the uh, Brazilian Imperial to prepare a um, geological map of Brazil. But it is a uh, 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 in home lament 
uh, was uh, interrupted and after he um, stayed in, the, in Brazil and the, um, during his career he many times go back uh, to Brazil. Oh, oh um, the main idea is that um, his work was made part in Brazil, part in the States, in successive trips with um, different perspectives, different um, targets, different um, um, aims. But um, during your uh, life, your work, um, um, he um, was um, involved with Brazilian geologists, Brazilian engineers, and they interchange ideas, thoughts, explications, and it uh, was one way, in the in a way. Um, last um, moments of your life, um, Brunner um, prepared the, and the present cheese map in um, Geological Society of America. Um, here we have a, a basic notions about the cheese map. This map um, um, basically is a synthesis of the um, the own runner work, but um, together the interconnections with the other uh, thinkers of that time. Um, what we uh, want to say is that the map, the um, uh, synthesis of um, uh, um, ideas uh, can help we understand um, how many people thought about the geology in that time um, and in this group there are Brazilian people, there are uh, foreigners, uh, um, um, singers, and together they um, help you to understand how one idea about the geology was uh, formed in that time, in, um, in a way, in 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 in, um, in a way, in a, a synthetic information about the geology of that time. Um, that is difficult to understand, uh, that's complex, um, how the motivations, how the interests of a brunner, there are probably many ones, but um, one, one, um, one point uh, is Kip Brunner, in the most part of his uh, professional career, was a teacher was a teacher of geologists. And the, we can uh, perceive that the um, um, pedagogical, educational approaches to, to uh, treat the different topics that he, uh, he studied in that time. The Owen Brenner uh, tell us, tell us, tell us um, um, how he worked and the, how um, um, what uh, 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 he wanted to show by the map. The the point, uh, the 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 key point about it, the map was firstly present in English, but almost simultaneously uh, there was a translation to Portuguese. And the, uh, the map 
is compound with the map or the 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 visual language, but the map is um, the map has one exp explanation. Uh, um, the the one way of uh, resume of the geology showed by the map, and the um, in this uh, self of aspects we can understand the um, cheese um, main ideas about the organization of it, that document and the the interconnections between Brunner and the other geologists of that time. And the one point is uh, is key to understand. Um, um, Brunner, um, um, perhaps, uh, uh, um, stayed more than uh, 10 years in Brazil uh, and the successive travels. Uh, from the first travel to participate of the group and the involved in the um, Brazilian Geological Survey, uh, and the other ones, they typically uh, um, had many different aims. Um, in the first time, in the first uh, tri uh, trips, the interest is uh, connected with him, uh, the contractor or who uh, pay paid Brunner uh, to uh, do a specific work. With the time, with the time, um, Brunner um, um, goes obtain more autonomy to decide the research. And the point key is the change to change it to entry in um, Stanford University. Uh, after the, the uh, work in uh, um, Stanford, he passed to define um, his how interests, how uh, researches and the, the, the travels are um, linked with each its interests. Uh, it's common, uh, it's like a, a more autonomy to decide what he, uh, he um, wanted the student, uh, wanted to study. Uh, so, um, in this moment, together, the other uh, uh, the other steps, I can understand um, that um, Brunner um, uh, 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 was a, um, a man um, worried about how to build it, you construct the, the knowledge. And the one point is key. It's a, 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 a one mark of, of uh, his, um, um, his work is the field activities. We can say uh, Brunner was one um, field geologist uh, who um, believed who um, did um, a, a specific perspective based on field activities. Um, well, we can perceive, we can understand that um, one way to arrive in, uh, to reach the map, this way, um, pass 
bei äh, äh, ähm, dem ähm, ähm, One, ähm, one challenge to um, involve it with um, um, Brazilian tents. The point is, uh, uh, Brunner, like the other uh, uh, naturalist of this time, uh, like uh, Chamberlain, like in Gilbert, um, have many different interests. We can say that he was mainly connected with the geology, seismology, and the um, etymology. And the, um, in these different aspects, the uh, activities are based on field. Field is the key to, to understand. At the same time, he uh, was um, more connected with the um, Brazilian questions and the, with the, 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 the successive uh, trips, successive uh, travels, he uh, was learning uh, uh, Portuguese and the, um, it um, Reached to elaborate a grammar in Portuguese uh, in the uh, last uh, uh, works he translated a, a, a book from Portuguese to English uh, about the history of Portugal. Uh, so in in his uh, uh, um, worries in his uh, 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 ways. He uh, uh, prepared the, the synthesis of the geology in the way um, by map. Of course, the the um, um, the result is a synthesis of the knowledge of that time. There are uh, uh, in in the in the outline of the uh, geological map the, the explicative note. Uh, there are many, many uh, uh, um, uh, citations, and the, it, it was prepared um, by different um, old works where he um, present the studies that he were uh, uh, um, no in that time. One point in terms of the representation, the visual representation, um, the, the outlines, the, the, the explicative not, there are many, uh, many um, um, figures, man, man, many uh, uh, drones, there are uh, photos, and the um, among these kinds of representation, one uh, representation key is the uh, cross sections. The cross sections, many ones, are based on in uh, his all the works in his uh, um, um, previous travel, previous studies uh, made in Brazil. Like, like it is one. And the uh, cheese uh, uh, um, representations, cheese, cheese drones, um, typically appeared in other documents, in other papers, books published before. So uh, um, the point is the, the um, notion that is uh, present by the, the, the cross sections go in the way you, uh, of the uh, dynamic geology. is a, a situation of the, tra the, the transformation that he observed 
in uh, his um, previous studies. Of course, there are all the kinds of representation, but the idea is uh, basically the same. It was a previous, uh, previous studies made by Brunner. And the one point to emphasis is about the uh, application. Uh, Brunner um, worked in one uh, geology that was um, uh, one applied geology, one geology mainly connected with um, economic geology and the um, approach to uh, prospection, to mineral prospection, but uh, uh, um, in, in fact, he um, had other worries applied this of geology, and he combined his uh, applied approaches with um, more theoretical questions. I. So uh, I, I put you one information about the the perspective of the um, prehistoric in the works of the brother. Uh, in fact, it, it is not in geological map, but brother prepared you one um, textbook to um, Brazilian geologists, Brazilian students to prepare. Uh, to to uh, call the students to geology, uh, and the, in, in these works, uh, uh, this work it is uh, called the um, elementary geology was published only in Portuguese. The first uh, the first edition prepared originally in English was translated to Portuguese. But in the second uh, uh, edition, he, uh, the own Brunner, prepared the, the, the book. Um, the main difference uh, between the two editions, more or less, is the one uh, innovation of knowledge in these uh, two moments, uh, 1906 and 1950. Uh, the point is, the point is, in his textbook, uh, Brunner do, Brunner did a specific reference about the uh, um, human occupation in the surface. And the, it, it um, uh, appears inside the, the part of the book that it treats about the um, Geological history, geological history of the life, geological history of the events, and the, uh, inside it, the the human um, the human uh, occupation of surface. What in, in uh, the the point uh, the the essential point, the crucial point, is uh, to understand. That uh, um, um, Brunner um, brought to book um, uh, Brazilian examples, and in this moment, when he preached about the uh, human occupation of the surface of the earth, he uh, um, uh, brings the ideas about the study of the uh, human activities in the, the surface. At the same time, he uh, gave Brazilian examples. The, the basic uh, approach uh, of this uh, aspect was connected with one paleontological and the stratigraphical way. 
to uh, understand the um, uh, how the men um, appear in the, in the earth and the, um, leave um, your uh, your marks. He used the discovery uh, made uh, other authors with the stack of the, the uh, Peter Lund that he, uh, he stayed a very long time in Brazil too. Uh, and the point is to first character, uh, characterize the um, human activities and the it like older than um modern uh, colonization and he uh, uh, he brought um examples of which is which is way of the the human uh, occupation and the the examples are connected with him a geological register or the approach with questions about the human prehistory is connected with the um, one field, uh, field base and the, um, examples when um, examples uh, um, which uh, I, I can't understand the, the the stratigraphic order and the position of the specific kind of registers to understand the, the occupation of the surface. In fact, it is connected to the other problem uh, treated by, by, uh, by Brunner. That it is the question about the idea, the notion, the view, about the activity, the human active activity in in the surface. In this way, uh, in fact, um, Brunner compares the human activities of the other mechanisms that he transform there. And in this way, he uh, put inside the human occupation in, in the earth. Um, and the, in uh, um, his perspective, um, what is the difference basic uh, among human activities and the other kinds of activities are connected with one point, a very curt, very small time that men is in the surface of the earth. Or men do, the men, the, the, the mankind, do important uh, transformation in the surface. But we cannot understand exactly what, the, uh, what is the uh, transformation because the man start a few times in the surface of the earth compared with other process like volcanism, like metamorphism, like the holy life and the activities. He gives examples of the transformations of the surface, but in this aspect, he brings things like the um, agriculture or um, uh, engineering geological is the, the main point the cheese transformation well um, the uh, questions about the, uh, uh, um, the the human activities is connected with the other ways other uh, um, other ways to think 
about the 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 activities, uh, social activities, or or other or the not or the natural activities that uh, um, uh, happen, and the aspect is specific um, on the knowledge and the the uh, human occupation. We can interpret like you want approach um, the same methodological aspects used by Brenner to different topics, to different studies. This is uh, three uh, uh, pre two uh, presentations, two documents is uh, uh, key, huh? and the, the, the two editions of the textbook, the textbook, the uh, elementary geology, and the, the documents uh, connected with the geological map. Um, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, thank you, Pedro. Very interesting talk. The second of our two talks about uh, Latin America and the geology of Latin America. So thank you to the organizers for grouping those together. Uh, we have time for a question or two, and I see that Sylvia has a question. Well, uh, thank you, Pedro, for your uh, paper. I have a very short question. Uh, you quoted a part of uh, Brenner's book, uh, or not the, the, the explanation of, of, of the, the map, and he says that he relied in a lot of published material, publications. Could you Tell us a little more uh, which publications, which institutions published this, uh, those uh, uh, data. I don't know if I understood exactly what uh, Silvia. Uh, uh, quais foram as uh, quais são as instituições que publicaram os trabalhos que ele diz que ele usou? Well. Um... Two, two points. Firstly, um, uh, Brunner was a publisher, <laughs> man, and perhaps uh, more than 300 in, uh, papers, books, reporters. And the one, one point is key. Uh, what we call um, paper, not exactly what it, was the paper 100 years ago. I remember uh, papers with more than 100 pages, and the, if you put in uh, the drawings, illustrations, a lot of pages anymore. Because it, uh, it's the other, other uh, kind of divulgation of knowledge. Uh, what he uh, quoted inside the map is a, 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 um, a very different source, mainly um, official documents, official uh, documents from uh, Brazilian government, um, but he think is published in, in Journal of Geology, Economic Geology, all the uh, uh, reviews. Um, besides it, he uh, uh, he uh, uh, told to reader that he used it to the personal uh, connections. Um, uh, he uh, uh, um, had in, um, a net of the different people in Brazil. Huh? And, um, and in each part of the, 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 the map, he um, used the different sources. But he, 
in, uh, no, I, I believe it's that uh, um, he um, uh, used the mainly the specific uh, authors depended on um, part of the map he was working. Um, um, for instance, Miguel Arroyo, uh, well, um, when he tried to, uh, of the part and the northeast of Brazil, and the um, um, Gonzaga de Campos in Minas Gerais State, and the, I so on. So, in, in this moment, uh, um, um, some works, ah, you will know, but uh, other people probably not. Uh, some work is uh, had the made in the first years of the uh, 20th century. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Sure. Um, yes, I've just got some comments to make. Uh, firstly, you mentioned one of his collaborators, Crandall, and uh, both Branner and Crandall have been immortalized in mineralogy by having minerals named after them. Brannerite, Crandallite, uh, but also it seems like uh, Branner uh, just uh, was uh, only confining himself to the geology of Brazil. And I don't know whether he was interested also in the connections between Brazilian geology and surrounding countries, because four years after he published his geological map of Brazil, uh, Alex Dutoy from South Africa came and produced the first geological map of the southern part of Brazil and including the adjacent areas of Uruguay and Argentina to produce the first map of that Parana Basin uh, with the Gondwana sort of formations in there. So um, I, I don't know whether, um, uh, you know, uh, these connections were made earlier, um, uh, uh, you know, b before before the toy, the connections with uh, surrounding countries. Uh, in fact, uh, um... In the in the map, uh, um, Brenner um, no did not uh, do mentions on, on the toilet, uh, um, but he, uh, in in uh, in part is uh, uh, the um, his previous studies he had in Uruguay in Argentina. And the way I, I, I uh, when we uh, call attention to different uh, topics, is about the um, many different interests, not only in Brazil, uh, mainly obviously in the states, uh, but uh, um, the subjects, the topics are so different from botanic. To geology, mineralogy, seismology, and so on. O, 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 what it uh, call uh, uh, our attention is, um, in a way, a, a common approach in that time is the connection of the theoretical and the applied science. Don't know if I answer, but thank you. <laughs> OK, thank you, Pedro. I think we'll have to end the questions here. If you have further questions, uh, we can catch up with Pedro during the COVID test event, which I think is coming up, if I understand it correctly.